to tell them. Aunt Nellie killed herself? Yes, that's better than lying. Better they ask you than me. Why? Why? Because I'm fucking angry. Because I don't want to have to tell them that I'm fucking pissed at Auntie Nell, who should have known better. Better than most. What this does to a family. I can understand that. She did it anyway. If she thinks that her sister killed herself after their mother killing herself, I can understand her reaction. Oh, look! <laughs> Poor kid. First they said Abigail's not real. Abigail, okay. Now they said the basement's not real. Abigail. Was it this far? Ta-da! Don't go alone, please. Call your parents, call someone. Without any light. All alone, you're just a kid, all is normal. I'm waiting. And the lights were on. Really, your parents didn't know that this place exists? From his shirt. Jump scare, jump scare? I'm so scared. Adults are really not paying attention to their kids. Don't? Hi. <laughs> no. Check the I basement. Please. You made house calls. This is going to sound really strange, but. The basement. Would you mind if I took a quick look down in your basement? Oh yes, you're wearing gloves all the time to not feel things, you know, maybe when she's touching things, she's feeling what is happening, you know, she has some energy vibes. What about the couch? What about? You are feeling what? You are feeling what she felt? <gasps> That's a smiley face? When someone raped her? You are not wearing your gloves. You want to know which one of them, if it's him. It's him. What are you um, looking at? Your smile. That's right. And social services too. You're feeling yes, tough. Sure. You have sure that I will vibes, yes. energy vibes, sensations about stuff. She's, getting me here. She's relieving no, I'm the stuff by touching them. That poor kid. Saw an idiot of the blueprints. They didn't want anyone to find it. Really, really don't like that you went down there by yourself. Me neither! What are you feeling about your mom now? Blood? Honey, what's wrong? She had stuff on her head, like someone smashed her, you know? No? You fucking bastard. That's not scary at all. You know those headaches I get sometimes? They started when I was a little girl. They see all sorts of... Your grandmother is like that too. She okay, was... that's something that Since you all have. She hated the air on her skin. She was always bundled up. These will help with the cold. Gloves? And the other thing. You both are not your sister? Kind of. You can talk to me about anything. About what she saw about you?
Okay, so finally you're taking the blood money. You read it. You know, I was pretty impressed by what you wrote about that night. That was really wild stuff, considering that you were asleep for what? Like ninety-nine percent of it? You know stuff. You was so stuff. I'm gonna get my fucking PhD. Ah. Okay, she knows more stuff. They all know more stuff than him than what you wrote. Are we gonna see it now or really at the end of the season? You're gonna see. Don't. She wants to feel it. She's dead. I mean, her sister is dead. She's not gonna feel anything. What? <laughs> I don't know this verb. Okay. Feeling something? Okay, you felt it, you saw it. What was that? The interpretation of the actress was really great. Surely found your checkbook. Individual account. What? Of course not. He took the money. He took the blood money, I mean. She doesn't want to talk, I don't think so. How are you? How was your day? Stuff like that. Our sister died. Careful to like a cheap suit the moment he was questioned by the cops. Yeah. She built up so many emotional walls. I touched her hands and I didn't even feel anything. She just needed help and no one was listening. She's feeling guilty for Nelly for not paying attention to Nelly. Okay, that's the last night. Where are you, Sio? Why are you running into the house like that? Come on. You touch your dad. What did you see? What did you really see? Hmm? I said it during my intro that I was not fully believing the dad, that I had a bad impression about the dad during the first episode. I said it. Sio seeing all of that and telling to the dad, let go, let go of me, don't touch me. Is he involved into that? I'm not believing fully that the mother was crazy or at least that she was the only one who was crazy into that family, you know. Maybe she did something with the dad? There is something right here. I said it during my intro and I said it during the first episode. I'm not fully believing the dad. Maybe he's hiding something or he did something. Okay, he wanted to save his child at the end from their mother or from the entity who was possessing their mother or from just the entity and the mother was protecting them, was trying to protect them because she has this sensitive thing. I don't know, but there is something wrong with the father. <laughs> at least that's my theory about him for now. So I was right, I was right about them writing, you know, the show like that with one episode for one character and again I think that it can be really interesting because we're gonna get attached to them, to the characters because of that. We're gonna know them more, we're gonna know their issues more about what happened when they were a child and about what is happening now for them and that can be interesting to have their point of view and again I think that the more interesting way of doing that for the writers, it's to have the episode 2, 3, 4, 5 for each character, each sibling, and then 6, 7, 8, 9 for again each sibling, and at the end the episode 10 with the father because he has all of the answers. 
that's my theory about them writing this show. I have even theory for that now. I'm really like having theories for everything. <laughs> About really what is happening right there. Theo, she's an interesting character. Her profession is really interesting. All of their jobs are really interesting, you know, because one is writing about fantastic stuff, one is taking care of the dead, one is a psychiatrist for the kids who are molested, I mean they have hard jobs and they are confronted with hard stuff into their jobs. I don't know what job was doing Nelly. Luke he has to deal with his drug addiction, he's getting money from his siblings so I don't think that he had a job, but that can be interesting to know what Nelly job was. Also her husband, I mean they are really talking a lot about her wedding and she just died and no one is talking about her husband. Is it normal? I'm not sure of that, like maybe he died, maybe he died because of a weird stuff or maybe he just died and that's it, but they are not talking at all about it. It's Yes, I am intrigued by that. So CEO has sensitive, I was gonna say powers, but it's not like that, sensitive vibes, you know, she's feeling energy and she's feeling what is happening and what happened for someone or for something. That's great for her job, you know, because she can be really useful right there. And I think that she wants to help children because of what happened with Luke, because she couldn't help him and she still can't help him. I think that there is really something right there and that's why she's doing that job. And the mother had the same sensitive thing. Shirley has it also but only in her dreams. We saw it when she was young but we saw it also when she was an adult. I mean she was the one who was screaming that Nelly was into the red room. I think that it was something like that. Nelly had it also? Maybe. Maybe that's why she was seeing that ghost. And Luke saw it also. That's why Luke and Nelly were the only ones who were talking about ghosts. And Steve in fact didn't see really what happened during that time into that house. He was the last one to be in the car so he was the last one who was awake during that night so he wrote it but in fact he saw a little of it. But Sio, she was running into the house and then the father found her with Luke and Nelly so she was the first awake. I think that all of the rest of the siblings, I mean except Steve, saw a lot of other stuff about that night so they have clues about that night but maybe they didn't talk about it they never talked about it between them so that's why they don't know what really happened because they are not talking about it about the clues that they have Luke really saw a monster a ghost an entity I don't know what it is but I think that the maid knows what it is and also her husband they know they were there before you know they were there before the family coming into that house they knew you know they really knew what was going on that's why she's so a religious person and she's trying to protect the child she's scared and that's why also her husband was so creepy during the last episode like he knew stuff also and he was telling that no there is no dogs I don't know, I don't know, I don't know I think that now we can really put away the official and reasonable version theory of that story it's really about fantastic and all stuff right there. We are seeing that entity. We saw it. I mean, we as viewers, we saw it. So we're gonna believe into it because we saw it. They are showing it to us. So now we're gonna believe Luke. 
are gonna believe that it's not just about messing with their heads and our heads. It's really something happening right there. That was a good episode. With psychology moments, with moments for the characters and also for the storyline, but also with our moments and that's it. You know, I said that I wanted a little more during the last episode and I had it during this one. Okay, I'm gonna make reaction videos for this show. I'm pretty sure of it now. So you're gonna see that on YouTube. I don't know when because soon, oh, tomorrow, Vikings is gonna be back. So I think that maybe you're gonna see it today and the episodes two and three during next week. I don't know. I'm gonna see that. I don't know which show is <laughs> out when now. I'm really lost with that. I'm really like day by day dealing with that. But yes, I'm gonna watch this show and I'm gonna make reaction videos about it. I hope that you're enjoying my reaction videos about it because I think that it's fun and it's interesting to share with you my reactions and my thoughts about another kind of show, you know, another show. I think that it can be fun to watch for you. Okay, so it's all for this show for now and it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Crazy.